Well, we have, um, just know that it's our 30th anniversary. Whoa. So, all I can say is that you stay tuned. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are we going to see you in the UK? Or because I mean, I'm I'm here in the UK, the US. I, I love the UK. I love me some London. I love England. Actually, I got a friend that live over there too. But I love it over there. I wish they would have us back. You know, you guys are um, doing your thirty years and stuff. Oh, mm -hmm. Is there anything that we can expect from yourself and 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 the girls? Um, well, we're uh, working on another reality show. Uh, it should be out in March of 2023. It's SWV and Escape, and it'll be out on Bravo, Bravo TV. Um, but, and we're working on the SWV biopic. That's next. Wow. We're supposed to be working on that. And uh, going on a tour for our 30th year. Wow. Are you coming to the UK? hope so we want to come back so bad we were supposed to come back this year but something happened with the dates kept getting changed so we are definitely hoping to come back to the uk because we love it out there back now because as we wrap it up because i know you guys i mean you're headline headlining festivals yeah i mean i, I saw the stuff you guys did in uh, in in new is in new york you'd be going to atlanta stadiums are full so everyone's singing along and stuff and, and it's like, it's almost, you know, and, and people rightly celebrate you guys as one of our premier R&B groups um, that have been. Did, does, does the touring become like, yep, we're going to just enjoy our touring? Is there any, not pressure, but is any desire to record new music? Or do you think, well, there's no real point. We just enjoy doing the touring and, 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 and using our catalogue. Well, sometimes you 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 feel like um, what's the use of recording music when we're doing what we need to do? They love those older records. They love those records. And sometimes I just think that's what they want. That's what they want to hear. You know, because we've done other records before, but I mean, it was just kind of lukewarm because we was with a label that was smaller than the group that they signed. You know what I mean? We were actually bigger than our label. So that they didn't know what to do with us, you know? But um, yeah, yeah, sometimes I don't think it's a desire anymore. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because you've been doing this for so long and you've been doing it the same way for so long. And the only thing that will make a difference is the money have to change. That's it. That's it because now it's time for a lot of 90s artists to get fruits of their labor. Mm. You know? And I'm ready for my fruit. I sacrificed a lot for this shit. I'm ready to see some fruit, some real fruit. <laughs> yes. Now it's time for a lot of 90s artists to get fruits of their labor. Mm. you know and I'm ready for my fruit I sacrificed a lot for this shit I'm ready to see some fruit some real fruit <laughs> yeah but did you think this, since the lockdown we passed the mic you guys were on it twice and versus with escape do you, do you, mm -hmm. has that opened wide more doors for you guys absolutely trust me like <laughs> now it ain't no it ain't no nothing that slowed down you know <laughs> Not all, like even before we did the verses, like we booked the whole 2020. Wow. And I'm, I kid you not, like, don't get me wrong, like, it, them checks is coming in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you just feel like you just want to get what, what you're worth. Yeah. You know, you, you've been doing it forever. It's like, yo, I don't want yours. Give me what belongs to me. Yeah. It's time for, you know, we've we paid some dues. Like, we've done a lot. You know? So it's time for us to enjoy the fruits of our labor as well as 
many other amazing artists who sacrificed to do this. And um, they need to, to, we need to die peacefully, peacefully, yeah. rich, comfortable. Yeah. And, you know, we need, it, it's so crazy because I look at these other artists and you get like a Katy Perry who's worth $300 million. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that shit bothers me. I'm like, well, how? Yeah. So, yeah. You yeah. Know. No, I mean, we have the do do a looper, Ed Sheeran, Adele, you know, they come out with one or two albums and then they're all the multi millionaires and, and, you oh, know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And this, yeah. yeah. Same record labels, and you're wondering, well, do they have uh, different deals in place than, uh, than I our? Just, I just think they handle African American artists a little different than they handle the other artists. Yeah. <laughs>